Do you often struggle to sleep after scrolling through your phone late at night? It could be due to the blue light exposure coming from your phone or TV. Wonder why that happens? The visible part of white light, like the sunlight, is primarily made from seven colors. Each color has its own unique wavelength, a measure of the distance between light waves. Blue light sits towards the shorter end of the spectrum, with a wavelength range roughly between 400 and 480 nanometers. This means it carries more energy compared to, say, red light, with its longer wavelengths around 650 to 700 nanometers. This extra energy isn't like physical force, but it's what allows blue light to interact with our bodies in interesting ways, both good and bad. Now, sunlight naturally has all the colors, including blue, which helps us wake up and stay alert. But our modern world is overflowing with artificial blue light from screens, LED lights, and fluorescent bulbs, and unlike the balanced mix in sunlight, this constant exposure can mess with our sleep and potentially harm our eyes. First, let's learn about how effective sunlight can be in improving your mood and helping stay fresh and active. And then we'll learn how artificial blue light sources can affect our vision and other health aspects you might have no idea about. Getting natural sunlight in the morning signals the body to suppress melatonin production, a hormone associated with sleepiness, so its suppression makes us feel more alert and awake. Not only that, but suppressing melatonin in the morning also helps to improve your sleep-wake cycles, meaning your melatonin hormone might kick in later in the evening when it's supposed to, so that you might feel sleepy early at night when you're supposed to. In fact, a 2019 study found that individuals with regular morning sun exposure had higher levels of melatonin production at night, indicating better sleep regulation. This study also showed a 23% reduction in sleep disturbances compared to those without consistent morning sun exposure. Even more surprisingly, during a 2016 study, participants were exposed to either bright blue light or dim light for one hour in the morning. Results showed that people who were exposed to blue light showed 22% faster reaction times and 17% higher accuracy on a cognitive test compared to those who were exposed to dim light. Some studies also show that blue light directly stimulates specific brain areas responsible for alertness and cognitive function. So getting morning sunlight doesn't just help you wake up, but also helps you stay active and focused and perform cognitive tasks like learning, memorizing, and making decisions more efficiently. Now let's learn about the potential downsides of blue light. Number one, disturbed sleep and circadian rhythm. While morning sunlight containing blue light works wonders for your brain and mood, the same light source becomes problematic when experienced throughout the day and especially at night. Our bodies rely on a natural rhythm called the circadian rhythm, which is regulated by light exposure. Morning blue light suppresses melatonin, making us alert. But by evening, our bodies expect dimming light to trigger melatonin production and prepare for sleep. Blue light directly suppresses melatonin production. This disrupts the natural sleep-wake cycle, making it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep later, even if you're tired. In fact, a 2018 study shows that exposure to blue light for two hours before bedtime suppressed melatonin production by as much as 50%, significantly affecting sleep quality. Besides that, consistent evening blue light exposure also throws off your circadian rhythm, making you feel alert when you should be winding down. This can lead to daytime fatigue and worsen sleep issues in the long run. A 2020 study in the Journal of Sleep Research reported that using electronic devices before bed increased sleep latency, which is the time to fall asleep, by 10 minutes and reduced total sleep duration by 8%. And these are just the short-term or immediate effects. The long-term effects are probably much more dangerous and intense. One of these long-term effects is number two, eye strain. Prolonged exposure to blue light emitted from digital screens like computers, smartphones, and tablets can lead to a condition known as digital eye strain, or DES for short. This is mainly because focusing on screens, especially with their high contrast displays, requires constant effort. Blue light adds to the strain, making your eye muscles work harder, 
leading to the familiar symptoms of dryness, irritation, and blurred vision. This constant strain weakens your focusing ability, potentially leading to nearsightedness over time. In fact, studies show that up to 90% of individuals who regularly use digital devices experience at least one symptom of digital eye strain. One 2020 study found that roughly 65% of adults reported experiencing DES symptoms after using digital devices for two or more hours daily. Some studies even suggest a potential link between long-term blue light exposure and age-related macular degeneration a leading cause of vision loss. Number 3. High Stress Levels A 2021 study shows that using blue light-emitting devices before bed increased stress hormones by 15% even in participants who didn't experience sleep disturbances before. This suggests that blue light itself might trigger stress pathways in the body. Most likely, this is because of the way blue light affects sleep patterns or circadian rhythm. By suppressing melatonin, blue light virtually tells us to stay awake. This state of false wakefulness can trigger the release of cortisol, the stress hormone, putting your body in a fight-or-flight state even when you're trying to relax. Number 4. Headaches and Migraines A 2018 study found that 70% of migraine sufferers reported experiencing headaches triggered by blue light exposure. Another study showed that about 60% of individuals with chronic headaches reported worsening symptoms after using electronic devices. The exact mechanisms are still being explored, but some experts suggest that blue light might activate pain-sensitive neurons in the trigeminal nerve, which is mainly responsible for facial sensations. So, when that happens, it can trigger headaches or migraines in sensitive individuals. Now, let's learn about some effective tips and tricks to avoid the potential risks of blue light. To prevent eye strain, follow 20-20-20 rule. Take a 20-second break every 20 minutes to gaze at something 20 feet away, letting your eyes refocus and relax. Reduce the brightness of your electronic gadgets to a comfortable level, avoiding overly harsh settings. Enable night mode on your devices to reduce blue light emission, especially in the evenings. Consciously blink to keep your eyes lubricated and reduce dryness. Use lubricating eye drops if your eyes feel dry or irritated. Maintain a comfortable distance between your eyes and the screen, around an arm's length or at least two feet. Avoid screen time for at least one to two hours before bedtime to minimize blue light's impact on melatonin production. Wearing blue light blocking glasses in the evening too can minimize blue light exposure before bed. Dim the lights in your bedroom to create a sleep-conducive environment. Seek alternative activities and hobbies that don't involve screens. For example, wind down with calming activities like reading, taking a warm bath, meditating, or listening to soothing music before bedtime. Maintain a consistent sleep schedule, even on weekends, to regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.